All right, you too. Welcome to another video. Um, I have uh, revamped my EDC, and uh, I'm going through some changes. I'm going to probably make two EDC packs. Uh, one is for everyday, actual everyday uh, carry, where it's going to be more of a daily use EDC, where... Things that I carry with me is something that I probably will use or need on a daily basis, one form or one form or another, in one situation or another. Okay, so um, this right here laid out on the mat is the everyday carry that I would uh, rely on for everyday use. That's kind of redundant. Everyday carry, everyday use. Anyway. Uh, let's get started. Um, this is a knife, a pocket knife, uh, EVV, uh, Civivi Element, Elementum pocket knife. Uh, it has proved itself to be a worthy knife to carry every day. Uh, not the best, but it is stylish and um, decent blade. I've done videos on this. It's pretty sharp. Not the sharpest, not the best cutting or slicing uh, knife, but it gets the job done. Um, yes. So with the right techniques and right um, proper use, it gets the job done. So in this EDC, I don't have a multi-tool, a full-size multi-tool. Uh, I opted to go with the keychain uh, multi-tool, and this is by, made by Next Tool. I've done a video on this as well. At first, I did not think that it would hold up. I didn't think it was uh, well made or this and that, but it has proven itself. Uh, I have used it for a few a few tasks. Mainly, I use it a lot uh, for making cordage, uh, paracord bracelets and uh, paracord uh, uh, things because it has pliers, scissors, yes, uh, Yes, you'd be surprised how many tools comes with this little little powerhouse. Uh, it comes with an actual scissor, an actual plier. comes with uh, your, your usual assortments of blades and can opener, bottle opener, and such. And, of course, a file and this and that. So I've done a video on this. If you're interested in seeing what all entails in this little powerhouse, go check it out. But since... Uh, I'm not carrying the full-size Leatherman and a sometimes just a blade a knife is not enough and you need uh, scissors or you may need pliers or something to do with uh, fine work like opening cans or bottles and stuff this will do the trick so everyday use scenario a knife and a multi-tool a decent multi-tool also, uh, this is not really an everyday use item uh, in a civilized or, or urban environment. Uh, this is a ferrocium rod or fer a ferro rod. Uh, I just carry it uh, because, you know, it is just part of that um, survival uh, heritage that uh, goes along with any kind of kit that you build. All right, so... Next one is a flashlight, a rechargeable flashlight. I opted with this very micro size uh, Olight, which is uh, rechargeable. And you open it up and uh, it has a USB charging port on it. There you go, focus, focus. There you go. So you charge that, it's got high beam and low beam settings. I also did a video on this. If you're interested in a review of this vid, uh, this flashlight, go check it out. Very nice flashlight, very tiny, but pretty powerful. Next one is a pouch full of daily, everyday medicine. Yes, everyday daily medicine that you may need occasionally, okay? Pepto, uh, trust me, 
if you're out there and about, you're on a bus, you're on an airplane, and, or you're in public, or you're somewhere working and doing this and that, and your stomach is bubbling, nothing is better for you than Pepto-Bismol, okay? Nothing. I, I mean, I take Pepto-Bismol, these capsules, when I'm having issues, and it's just like in minutes I'm feeling a lot better. Also, uh, there are Aleve, Aleve tablets in there, and those are good for headaches. Um, you know, when you're out there and you feel like you got a headache coming on or some kind of muscle ache or something, good to have. Uh, allergy, trust me, when you're out there uh, doing work outside or this and that and uh, you start, your eyes are itchy and you're sneezing and uh, you start, your eyes are watering and your nose is running, trust me, you're going to want these allergy pills, um to kind of give you some relief. And uh, from what I understand, uh, it also helps you uh, if you get bit uh, and you're having some kind of reaction, it also may help you help relieve some symptoms. So those are the three medications that I carry that I consider is a everyday use kind of uh, medication, okay? So, yeah, that that right there is total emergency care right there. <laughs> Pepto Bismol, especially. <laughs> you're in a car, your stomach starts to bubble, uh, and you're in traffic. Take some Pepto Bismol. Help, it, it helps. Uh, to trust me, okay. So anyway, uh, here we have uh, assortment of alcohol wipes, antibiotic uh, cream, ointments for cuts. Uh, three bandages and hand, hand sanitizer. So this is your uh, undergo everyday minor cuts and bruises kind of medical kit. Um, how often do you get a paper cut? Uh, you're playing around with your knife you, or doing something with your knife and you cut your fingers and you need to wipe your hands clean and put a bandage on. You know, you're asking your buddies or you're asking somebody, hey, do you have a bandage? Okay, well, this is, if you have it, you don't need to ask for it. You just do it. So this, this is another everyday medical item that you should have. Now, uh, I'm going to move over here to a sewing kit. Okay, a lot of people don't think about sewing kits, but I uh, cut up a leather piece right here and I wound some threads. And then I went and bought uh, uh, decent uh, needles, not those dollar store needles, but uh, pretty decent needles, big ones and a couple of small ones in here. Uh, it's uh, fastened to in the, a curved needle as well. And it's fastened to the le piece of leather with duct tape with uh, gray and black thread wound up around it. Okay, so... Uh, why do I carry a sewing kit? Well, you're out and about. Like I said, you're out and about. And uh, let's say you do some squats and your pants ripped. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, are you going to quit? Are you going to stop what you're doing and run home to change your pants? Uh, sometimes you can't do it. Maybe you're working. You can't get away from work to go change your pants. Uh, maybe you get a tear in your shirt or something. Or maybe you're out on a date and your girlfriend catches her dress or uh, uh, rips something as she's getting in and out the car or something like that. And you just hand her this and say, hey, go to the bathroom and sew it up real dandy and we're good to go, you know? So uh, urban every day, they don't have to be necessarily in the woods uh, doing hard work and trying to fix canvases and, and uh, tarps and all that. This is just for clothing. Like I said, you're out and about, you're far from home, and uh, you, can't ex you can't go to the nearest Walmart to get another cheap pair of shirts, and, and you just want to repair the little tear you have just so it don't get bigger. Just so your tear don't get bigger, you just want to fix it up a little bit until you get home or you get to a uh, place where they can properly fix your clothes, all right? So that's your sewing kit, everyday carry. Um, I like it. Uh, it doesn't t take hardly any space. Boom. Now, 
masks. I know with uh, today's environment, it's not that I believe in wearing masks or don't believe in wearing masks or, or wear, I be, it's not that I believe in wearing masks and it's not that I don't believe in wearing masks. It's the fact that sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes you go to a restaurant, a store or something and they ask you, please wear a mask. And unfortunately, some places that mand it, uh, demand that you wear masks don't provide you with masks. And what are you going to do? You're just going to go, uh, you know, let your friends go on in and you're going to be crap out of luck and not be able to go in. So you just pull out a mask and put it on and go on and do what you got to do. Also, uh, like I said, a mask is decent to have in case something happens where there's a lot of debris, fumes in the air. And, um, you know, you want to put this on to at least to protect your lungs from uh, being overcome with uh, dust and fumes, okay? It does, does it really protect you? It's better than nothing, right? Okay, that same goes with uh, gloves. You get into a situation where you may have to help uh, somebody and you have to be a good Samaritan and they're bleeding and you may try to treat them. Well, you don't want to be touching other people's uh, blood or uh, while you're trying to help them. Uh, maybe you come across a car wreck and somebody is bleeding from their head and you want to help them, but you don't want to be touching their blood and stuff. So go ahead and take it out, put some gloves on, and help the people that need help. Okay. So also a big lighter. You don't have to smoke to carry a lighter, but it's always good to have a lighter, especially wrapped in duct tape. Uh, you know, uh, somebody always asks me if I have a light. You know, in the days uh, where people don't smoke much, there's still people who smoke and still ask for a light. Here we go. There's a light. And uh, also, um, needless to mention, there's a lot of reasons to have a lighter. I, I use this to work with my paracord. I use it to, um, when I use, I use this to um, uh, burn the thread on my leather works. And so, you know, it's, there's plenty of uses that you can come up with for a lighter. Next is a, a six inch USB cord with a USB C adapter to a old regular 2.0 uh, uh, USB. Uh, not, that way I'm prepared to charge um, anything with a C plug or a regular old USB plug. So. This, I took this, I got this from a uh, vape blue uh, electronic cigarette uh, kit. It was only six inches, to small, easy to carry. Um, also got the uh, USB-C adapter from my uh, Samsung Galaxy Note phone pack. So I put it together and bam. Anywhere you go, uh, you have a charging cable to charge your phone and whatever USB devices you have that you need to charge you're not going to be stuck without a cord not to be able to charge also I wear glasses so carrying a cloth to wipe my glasses is a must alright so everyday use everyday carry these items but uh, are commonly used items that you should have and come in very handy that I know I use every day to clean my glasses that I know I'll use occasionally when I have a tummy ache. That I know I'll use when I go looking for something I dropped under the sofa or under the table. Or uh, There's many times when I needed a light to just find something. Um, knife, I've used that for work and many other uh, instances. And also the multi-tool, the, this I just put it in there. For the kicks and giggles, shits and giggles. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't want to use foul language. But anyway, these two here are uh, jewels packs I wrapped in foil. Um, jewel. I do vape, so occasionally I might be out and about and run out of my vape inside my uh, jewels cigarette e-cigarette machine. So what I'll do is I'll carry a couple of extra in my EDC. So that way I'll have something. So that's it. This kit here is my everyday carry 
new kit and uh, I'm working on a case a belt case to fit all this in um, I'm I'm um, actually I was working on it tonight but all I did was cut out the pattern I don't want to show you the pattern of it I want to finish it and complete it before I show it off so there'll be a part two video to this video uh, the next video I'm going to make, and I'm going to cut this short because it's gone to 15 minutes. I'm going to make a, another video explaining what's in this kit. And this is my heavy-duty, well, semi-heavy-duty, um, but light-duty, heavy-duty for EDC, but light-duty for tool, tool, a tool belt kind of thing. So this is like... Uh, I would put this on and take with me in case I know that I'm going over somewhere where there's going to be some work being done, where I'm going to need some kind of tools to do this and that. Um, this may be something I wear if I'm hanging out with buddies, going um, going out on a uh, outing, you know, or something. I might uh, wear this. So I'll. I'm going to make this, I'm going to make another video right after I cut this video out. So I'm going to put two videos up today. So that's the complete EDC, uh, my new updated EDC that I'm going to carry. Uh, once I put together a EDC carrying case, this will all go in there. And uh, that's what I'm going to be carrying. And uh, as a preview, I may use or may not use Altoid tins to carry it all. Um, like I said, I'm working on a leather belt carrying case for all this. All right, so stand by for a follow-up video part two for this. And then I'm going to right now make a video on that one. All right, thanks for watching.